Kelly Lee here with iHeartRadio, and yes, I am sitting slash standing next to Rooney. Guys, hey. welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being what a, here. What a warm welcome in. Oh my god, did you feel it from my heart? Yeah, I feel it. Okay, I feel, you guys? I feel like a resonance, like, yes. a, like a light. Yes! Yeah. Struck you I in got all the good places. Right over here, yeah. oh. Crazy. Thank you. Uh, guys, you have a new album coming out called El Cortez. Listen, we're going to talk about all of that stuff. We're going to have fun with your fans. We're going to get some songs going. But before we start, I think we need to listen to Second Chances. Can you make my wish come true? Of course. Thank you. So easy. Dreams do come true. So easy. Guys, Rooney, Second Chances. All right. Here we go. Chances, that's the new single off El Cortez out July 28th. 
And that song's out right now online, so you can stream it. And this is a old Rooney song called When Did Your Heart Go Missing? It was a single on a record called Calling the World. And it's fun to play this in all the shows, and it's part of our set. This is called When Did Your Heart Go Missing? Ready? Oh my god, just killed it. How'd you guys feel about that? Felt good about it, yeah. It sounded great. It's fun to play acoustically because it's you reimagine your music in a new way. So yeah, and we feel special yeah. because we get to experience it in this small room together. Yeah, I felt like, yeah, this room has a, an intimate it feeling does. to it, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Uh, Rooney, you guys have a new album, EP, yeah. coming out, El Cortez. Let's talk about it a little. Okay. I'll tell you any, I'll, anything you want to okay, know. Okay, okay. Tell I'll me. Fully expose this EP to you. Okay, okay, okay. If yeah. you, if if for somebody, let's say, okay, let's say a new Rooney fan, right? Yes, yeah. How would you describe this album to them? It's so hard to describe a record. Oh, it's oh, so hard. Man. You know why? Because music's just so, music is a whole other like thing. So mm. it's like words can't describe. Okay. It's the sonics and the harmony mm. and all these things. But 
I feel like um, it's a fun record. It's it's upbeat. It's got some. It's got different sides to it. Really, it's pretty mixed. It's it's a five song EP. Mm -hmm. We made it in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You love Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. Okay. We love lived Vegas. in uh, downtown Vegas on Fremont Street at the El Cortez yeah, Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And made the record there. So it was kind of fun to get away from LA, which mm. is our hometown, and kind of get outside your comfort zone and work in a new in a new environment. But um, it's an upbeat record. Uh, there's some. Um, Tell Me What You Learned is kind of a more upbeat kind of rocker song. There's a song called The Time Is Now, which uses some different sort of loops and rhythmic loops. So there's like a little bit of strain from this sort of live performance, like live band mm -hmm, sound. Mm -hmm. So there's some fun experimental things going on on the record, but it's it's catchy, hopefully hooky. You can sing to it. Yeah. You can dance to it. Yes. I mean, I, li I just love good songs, like catchy, fun songs that kind of grab you right away. I love the way you so. describe the music. Really? Do you know what I mean? It's, no, totally. I'm trying my best to describe it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in that music world with you as good, you describe good. it. You're going there. I'm, I went there with <laughs> you. You went there, good. And we just came out of it together. Good. Um, the, the first single, yeah. Second Chances, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people deserve second chances. In many I know. Ways. Yeah, uh, I think there's a good message to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about where you? About that song? Where, yeah. Where was it originated? Where was it born? That song. So that da 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 da. That like loop was this sort of loop I had as an instrumental piece, mm -hmm. and I just kind of had it as an instrumental on my computer for a long time, and I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. But it's interesting how songs come about because sometimes they kind of linger. So and they cool. don't really get finished. And then you come back to it with a whole new perspective and you, you get an idea. But I was in Germany and I was at a hotel and I was jet lagged and I decided to write the verses. And I think maybe just in that state of mind where you're tired, you just kind of have thoughts that come in your head. Mm -hmm. and sometimes when you write lyrics, you can be kind of like, you can get stuck in your head and yeah. try to like, does this make sense? But sometimes you can just let things flow. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of when the best stuff happens, when you're not as conscious about what's happening. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're not overthinking it. Yeah, it's the best time. It's it's when lyrics happen that are somewhat poetic and a little bit stray from reality a little bit. So I think this verse is like a stream of consciousness, like, oh, yeah, like there's this kind of talky verse, mm -hmm. which I really love in music. And I think a lot of like hip hop music is very talky, you know, it's very rhythmic and it's talking, you know, the way it's performed in terms of the, the vocal mm -hmm. sort of like flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I mean, I really respect like many types of music, so I was trying to kind of bring a different flavor to more of a rock and roll band, you know, like a different approach to it. Yeah, well, yeah. Second Chances, it's already on my playlist. Is it? Oh, great, sure thank you so much, that's awesome. Um, True or false, false. I yeah. said false weird. That's okay. um, you are, guys, are embarking on a North American tour? Yeah, it started a week ago, <laughs> which is crazy. Have you no, been sleeping? A little bit. What are you eating while you're <laughs> weird, on tour? Weird, kind of all, well, are you eating bad, city. honestly? I feel like, kind of. That's not good. I don't know, I can't, well, I'll tell you this. We, we were in Canada for the last mm -hmm. few days. We had a day off in Montreal, so we got to like, you know, try some new places. Okay. And it's a great city. Yeah. Um, we celebrated July 4th in Montreal. Oh, nice. Kind of oh, and, and, we, and we yeah. were there for Canada Day, which was kind of interesting, too. Did everyone so go like, crazy in Canada Day? It was pretty cool. We were in Toronto, and it was a really good crowd, mm -hmm. and it was really special to be there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was cool. My heart was warm. Oh. <laughs> um, no, what but did we, you eat? So we had, um, well, I'll tell you what I ate yesterday. Okay, what did you eat yesterday? You want to know? Yes. <laughs> okay. I went to a store, and I bought some nice fine cheeses okay and a baguette oh. and a sausage oh and i made myself oh. and i drank a little wine wow and i kind of went to france for the day in my mind and it was but we were in quebec so it was like french canadian yeah 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 Archer in my yeah mind. but were you i don't by know yourself? We were, um no we were all hanging on okay okay, okay you were yeah, sharing yeah, this yeah, yeah. it wasn't like this we whole thing okay bus. got it got it got it got it but um when you're on the road you just you're in a new city every yeah. day so you you open up you know, maybe like an app like Yelp. Yeah. And um, you kind of find the nearest like thing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny because you have a, there's a proximity issue with like when you're on the road, you don't have a car. Right. So you, like the bus arrives at the venue and then you just kind of go wherever Anything you Anything that's can. walkable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, it's, you just kind of get your hands on something that's around you. But we've been, we're in great cities, Minneapolis, Chicago, St. Louis. Man. Um, so we're on this, we're on a whole tour all till the, uh, till the beginning of August. So we're all through, you can find our dates RooneyMusic.com, everybody. Find They're out already where we on are. it. They're already on the website. Find us. 
reminding yeah. them. Uh, okay, la yeah. last question. Favorite city or city that you're most looking forward to visiting or that you have visited? Um, Chicago. Chicago. You love Chicago? <laughs> yeah. That's what you're feeling, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow, nice Chicago, okay. I'm really looking forward to New Orleans because I haven't been there before. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Ooh, great city, so great city, great, 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 great city. Of food. So fast. <laughs> it's pretty special. I mean, Turin's pretty, pretty magical. I okay. Mean, it's really... There's really nothing like it, you know? Man. You really, I mean, I know traveling is like, one, you can go on a vacation and it's a really fun thing, but mm -hmm. there's something kind of like seductive about touring, which is why I think there's been so many Rooney tours over so many years is that mm -hmm. you can't replicate this experience. It's pretty, you meet so right. many people in every city mm -hmm. who come out and support the show. You meet, you know, um, you get to see great cities, try great food, you know, get lost in these new environments, so. Sounds great. Do you want to come with us? Yeah. The bus leaves at 4 a.m. Let's go. I'm already go. on it. My bags <laughs> are on it. Pack your bags. Um, guys, I have a special gift. It's not a gift great. because the, it's a person, but yeah. I'm saying special gift in that form. We have a mega, mega Rooney fan yes. for you here. I'm going to I'm going to let hey. her introduce herself, but she's a mega fan. She's going to interview you. So, guys. Oh, sweet. Are you ready? Of course. Come here, love. Oh, look yeah. at this. Ray Welcome. And <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie Jo. I'm Robert. Hi, Matt. nice to meet you. I'm Max. Max, yeah. nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. Thanks for is, coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. I know we're me. sitting I'm, down. Yeah, it's Sorry. okay. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Like yeah. uh, Ellie, I think we're about as tall, so that yeah. works out. Great. Um, yeah, I have been a fan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm acting <laughs> like my. Cool. I've been a fan of Bernie since I was. 14. Yeah. So, this so we were one of your like, first like bands. You yeah, got into? That's I always cool. say like um, I had great. an older brother that was going to USC at the time. Oh, cool. And so he was I how it. yeah, and he was kind Nearby, of how I got yeah. into uh, Rooney. He always said like he wasn't gonna let me listen to like trash music. So he was like, "Here, I'm gonna start you young. You have to listen to like good music. You'll like these guys." That was and that so, was those are the days of the CD. Oh, yeah. So he gave you the CD. He, CD. <laughs> yeah. CD. Um, I got the Spit and Sweat DVD yeah. for Christmas when cool. that came out. So it's like, on Netflix, yeah. everybody. You can watch I'm, that on Netflix now. You can I stream that show on Netflix. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. I, yeah, so since I was 14, I literally like, made you um, T-shirts. My friend Angelina. Um, mine oh, said Robert's Daisy Duke. No way. Yeah. Did you come to oh, one? Yeah. Did you bring it to a show? Right oh, now? yes. Where were you? Where, I, what city? Uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas. You were touring Ooh, with Fayette Michelle Bill. Branch. That was the Virgin College mega tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that show very well. Yes, I do too. It was a, it was a it was, tour of colleges we did. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. It was at the University of Arkansas. It was outdoors. It rained. Mm. No, this one was indoors. You might have had another sure? night. You might have had another night where you did an outdoor one, but ours was inside. It was and we had 65 to be degrees. <laughs> it was a, a, woman, a car parked outside. Sorry. There were two 14-year-old girls in the back oh, dancing okay. like crazy. That was that was definitely That's me. That's very cool. Yeah. Nice yeah. to see you after all these years. Yes. How so cool is that? I saw you for the first time there, and then you played at Missouri State University. Oh. For a free show, actually. Oh, cool. And I went there. A college show. A college show. Yeah. Those are really fun, by the mm -hmm. way. College shows are a whole different thing because you get invited by the school to play at their, like, you know, the end of year bash or whatever, mm -hmm. like the kickoff. Yeah, fair bash. And people are, like, in good spirits and it's just they want to have a good time and you yeah. play on, like, a fun outdoor stage. And yeah, that one was yeah. outdoor. Cool. That one was outdoor. And then I saw you last year in Williamsburg. Oh, no way. Right before Musical? I left the city. Yeah. Um, that was a fun show. Right before I left yeah. the city and for six months on work and I was like, I have to go see Rudy. That's so cool. I... So, yeah. So, That's awesome. Um, I you guess want this? Like... Does she need this microphone? Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Hi. Sorry. Um, I guess my question is, since yeah. you know what, 2003, how has your approach to the music industry changed? Because it's drastically changed, right, with technology and everything. Yeah. So that's a huge question. I know. Okay. So like, can that's we narrow it down question. on how? Should we like have dinner and talk about that? Yes. <laughs> yes, we should. Um, well, there's a few. Th I mean, I guess you could kind of sum things up a little bit, but I. Here's what I'll say. I think that like we live in a time of like constant, like where music's coming out really mm -hmm. fast, yeah. And like people kind of can stream things really quickly. Like if you put it out, like there's mm -hmm. an instant sort of like yeah. get your hands on it thing. So I think there's like a you have to keep up with the workflow in today's sort of industry demands. Just like constant like stimulating Production. your audience of like constant music release. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I just remember like getting signed to a label back in 2002. Mm. 
and putting out this first CD in 03 and like this taking, it took like years to kind of get to push a record through. Mm -hmm. And I think like today, like the, the biggest change is like just trying to not disappear for X amount of years mm -hmm. and then come back and then disappear and come back. And yeah. I just don't think that really works in today's industry of just like, you just kind of got to keep your music flowing and yeah. stuff like that. like rapid fire. Which is kind of great because I, I, I just think it's fun to keep working and I think if the industry, if the audience wants it, it's good to keep kind of, you know, putting music out. Mm -hmm. So oh, I waited that's one of the bigger so things. long for Calling the World. Did that's you? Crazy. Yeah, I know, right? It was like four years. Uh, I know, it's where's crazy. Where's the next album? Well, Angelina we were, we were right party. there with you. Yeah. <laughs> I think just to know that most artists are anxious to put music out. Mm -hmm. So like when it, when someone's waiting, like just know it's the feelings mutual. Like yeah. the artist is feeling that same kind of I gotta get this record out. Right, you right. Know? So um, second question, throwback a little bit. Um, Angelina and I used to like sit in my basement and like listen to her. Where's Angelina? Like, Angelina <laughs> is in Angelina. Portland. She's definitely watching this. She I be here called with her us. this morning and I was like, Oh my god, I know it's like 6 a.m. You're not awake yet, but I left her a voicemail so she's like I feel like she should be here right now. I know. I'm I feeling, she was. She's on I'm the other kind side of, sad she's in of there. the country. But right. yeah. Um but we used to like dissect Rooney lyrics and, and we did that again mm -hmm. like recently and we were listening to Robert Stacy or Robert Stacy Duke Daisy Duke. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Robert Stacy Duke was my screen name on your message boards. Yeah. Um <laughs> but uh yeah, so we were listening to Daisy Duke and I was just wondering like yeah. What is that song about? Daisy Duke. It's, that's a tough. Uh, we played a show a few days ago, and someone who came to the show asked that question. Yeah. It's so hard to answer that question. This song, Daisy Duke, was on the first Rooney uh, self titled release. And I wrote it, I was in high school when I wrote it. I was a junior oh, okay. in high school, and I kind that of. Makes a little more sense. I think it's just like, I don't know what that's. I mean, honestly, that's the one song I'm like, I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> Because I think it just kind of happened, like the yeah. down, 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 I didn't even know where that came from, but. I mean, it is very catchy. I guess it's just like, there was just a role, it was just sort of kind of like an idea of assuming a certain personality. Mm -hmm. And just, it's like playing, when you write songs, you can become other people, and you can be yourself. Mm -hmm. You can expose yourself, or you can put, you can wear, you can put a wall up between you and the listener mm -hmm. and by creating a new persona. And I think that song was about sort of power and control in a relationship and like assume, becoming that character in that relationship mm -hmm. through a song. So, yeah. yeah. So you didn't actually physically handcuff someone to a bathtub? That's the, the I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I know, guys. Sorry, it sounds weird. But in, it's in, a great in, song. in the song, in context, it's, it's much more like, it's, a, it's got more heart to it. It does. I love <laughs> that sounds, song. Hey, I, thanks. But da Daisy Duke. We've been playing, playing that a lot in the show and yeah. on the tour, and it's like, it goes, it's a, you know, people like hearing that song. Yeah, so it's, it's a good cool. one. Yeah. Um, and as far as tours, because you have gone on a lot of Rooney tours, ha yeah. what are what would you say were your like top three things you had to have on tour yeah. from your first Rooney tour to like this Rooney tour? How has it changed, or has so, it changed? Uh, like top three three things that you have to have with you on um, the tour, like physically? Yeah, physically. In the bus? Yeah. Ooh. Um. A toothbrush. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely happening. No, I mean, I hear. I mean, we're we're on a bus, mm -hmm. and we're lucky to have a bus because it's like a luxury. It's a luxury way to get around. Mm -hmm. Like it is. Like most, you can have a van, a car. It depends on your. <laughs> you can have a jet. Like it, I don't know who. Whatever artist has their own way of touring. Mm -hmm. But a bus, you know, bus is really nice. But you're also, you know, living all together in this like vehicle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. So it's like kind of like there's a little bit of like a camping, like you know, like you yeah. kind of <laughs> there's roughing it at times. Yeah. But um, I guess like it's nice to, um, uh, it's so hard to answer this question. Try and have good snacks. Snacks are really like important. Like baguettes and cheese Snacks, and wine. Yeah. yeah. It's good to hit up your local like, you know, Whole Foods or like mm -hmm. something that has some good quality like items and mm -hmm. stock up on like good stuff. Um, a lot of hummus. A lot of hummus. Yes. <laughs> you get a lot of hummus. And I have hummus in my bag now. Yeah. Just have Magnesium. To have it. Magnesium, <laughs> sleep, some yeah. sleep tools. Do you get any, what do you guys do for privacy? Do you just like go in your What's little that? beds? Yeah, exactly, right? Do you <laughs> have like curtains any. in your, curtains. your yeah. beds? That's okay. the privacy, yeah. Okay. Thin curtain. That's it, okay. It's not really, you just kind of all live together and yeah. just kind of like, you just kind of own it and give in to it, you mm -hmm. know? Like it's, there's really, there's no way around it. Yeah. Like you're just, you, you, if you're you came with us, you would see it. it's like, 
you just kind of you just you're here and yeah, you just you go for it. it. Yeah. yeah, totally. But you have to drink a lot of water and stay mm -hmm. in good health to play a lot of shows and like singing too every night. You just want oh, to like, totally. stay healthy. Yeah. So health is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and in terms of cities, I know that you love California so much. You made yeah. the the California bear, the like Rooney flag. Yeah. I, I called it a Rooney bear before I knew it was a California bear. Which is good. Yeah. It took on a new meaning. So, um, yeah. I... That bear stays with us. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like still a part of the whole show and everything. Mm -hmm. It's part of the, you know, it's the imagery of the band. And... Yeah, I would have like Rooney shirts that had like the, you know, the bear, and then there would be like kids from that, um, that store Hollister. Right. Yeah, right, and right. they would have like the Hollister California bear. And I was like, it's a Rooney bear. It's not California. California it's bear. cool to see that, and you see the California <laughs> shirt, like the regular yeah. flag, and sometimes it reminds people of Rooney. Yeah, too. yeah. So, yeah. so that being yeah. said, like, what is the, what's the difference between when you play a show here mm -hmm. versus at home? Like, I mean, in LA. Yeah, yeah. in LA. Uh, well, we're in New York today, and New York is kind of like home in a weird way yeah. too. I don't know, New York is like a second home, although it's different imagery than like the California feel. Absolutely, yeah. But um, I don't know. I think when you get to play outside your hometown, you get to meet new people. And it's just like nice. It's a good feeling to bring music to different cities and, and meet. You know, there's a lot of people out there that have supported Rooney for a long time or like the music. And it's like, it's pretty, it's very rewarding when you get to get outside of that city you're in mm -hmm. normally and get to meet new people, especially when you go overseas mm -hmm. and you go to like another country and you meet people who like Rooney. It's, yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. It's pretty special. Um, so it's fun to play outside of the hometown. I think when you go to other smaller towns, it's really great because, you know, people don't realize this, but like in New York City, you guys are all in New York, but like, you know, a lot of really good shows come through town, right? Oh, you yeah. have a lot of good entertainment. It's the best part about living here. You yeah, know, no matter how obscure the band is, right. they're going to play New York City. Yeah. So there's this like, yeah, so it's like sometimes shows can get sometimes overlooked too because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. But like when you're in a smaller town, you don't really get sometimes every tour comes through your town. So. There's a really good feeling when you come to that town and people are really happy you came and they're like, thank you for being here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. those shows, I'd say, are the most like gratifying because of the feeling you get from the people coming out. They really appreciate mm -hmm. that we're there. Yeah. So that's a really good thing. Yeah, I got yeah. lucky that you guys were at the U of A because that Fayetteville. was just... That's right. Yeah. You're in there, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I was, that was an hour from my house versus like St. Louis. Yeah. Was your other show that you played with Hanson? Oh my goodness! Yeah, and you I know couldn't go because it. it was too far. I, I know a lot. About Damn. <laughs> I remember that I couldn't go to that yeah. show, and I was really sad. Yeah. But yeah. Good times. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Hey. Interrupting. Is that no, is that the end of? <laughs> But that I was tried awesome. To do that. No, that was great. Did we? <laughs> we'll stay, we'll stay, we'll stay. Oh, Did okay, we get your questions though? Yeah. Okay. That was go. great. Just do you sure want to FaceTime or call your friend? Oh yeah, good call. And see if she oh, if she wants wow. to that's a good, do that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I would love that. Is this still plugged in? Uh, it's off now. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, you're gonna. Play I was gonna make a sound. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call her. Oh, is this is this like this who like wants, who wants to, be to be a millionaire? millionaire. <laughs> 50, 50. Is this your one like, call? Wait, ah. Should we ask her to see if she has the answer to the question? She doesn't have an iPhone. I can't. You can call her. Oh. I can just call her. I was gonna FaceTime her, but you want to put on speaker? Speaker. Yeah. Oh nice. well, yeah, you guys want to hear it, right? <laughs> Angelina, <laughs> you better be there, Angelina. <laughs> Uh, oh this is it. God. This is it. Hi. <laughs> so you must be watching right now. Wow. Hi. Are you watching? I'm not. I couldn't download that. Oh, app. man. Angelina. So the question is what is the capital? <laughs> um, how are you? Store, actually. <laughs> cool, that's awesome. Where are you right now? Where are you? Where are you? Um, I'm in Portland, Oregon, and I'm gonna go plant some flowers. So. Oh, cool, nice. Portland's great. Is it raining? No, not. It must be beautiful. The summers are pretty beautiful there. So great. That's awesome. We're gonna be there uh, in two weeks. Yeah. In two weeks. Two and a half weeks. Do you want tickets to the show? You're on the guest list, Angelina. Yeah! Wow. 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 W
Selena. You win. Okay, now you have to give me this set list because you stole the other one. You just have to answer one question. Okay. Yeah. Track five on the first Rooney record, what was it? Track five on the first Rooney record. Oh, okay, I'm not even going to cheat. I'm not even going to be like, oh, you know, uh, I think the first know, song was Blue Side. Side. It was. Blue Side. If it were up to me, Stay Away. I, stay Away's three? Okay, I was going to guess Stay Away. Pop Stars? Mm. No, Shaken. Pop Stars further down. What about Blue Side? Did Blue you Side already say first. that is the first one? Blue Side over to me, Stay Away. <laughs> Is it Daisy Duke? Shaken, Daisy Duke. Is maybe. it, da is it Daisy right. Duke? You don't even know. Ding it. ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was just teasing. Yeah. You, you, you won. You won tickets without even having to enter in anything. Oh you won. Oh my gosh! See, I won tickets by being earnest and honest, and still kind of having an out of body experience. <laughs> we'll we'll send you. We'll follow up and send you the details. Just bring some voodoo donuts. <laughs> What's that? Will you bring voodoo donuts? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Yay. Deal. <laughs> Done. Thanks, Angelina. Yeah. Hey, Angelina. Thanks, a Angelina. Follow the response really quick, though. Maddie, I want to see what the next line is to this. I'm oh, going to yeah. say the line. Nice. Maddie. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Is this actually, like, happening? Yeah, it's yeah, it's fire. happening. Just let me say it. I want to see what your response is. Why? This is an inside joke, yeah. but... Maddie, you know you're not going to marry Robert Schwartzman, right? <laughs> What's the response? Uh, so? <laughs> what did she say? Uh, so? Uh, that's, 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 that was that's my response, response to it. She broke my heart and she was like, you know you can't marry Robert Schwartzman. And I was like, so? That's awesome. <laughs> but I can meet him on iHeartRadio. Yeah, there we go. All right. We're here. Thanks for, uh, right. thanks for taking the call. Awesome. awesome. Um, happy July Fourth. Happy July Fourth. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see you guys soon. We'll see you in Portland. Right. Of course. Of course. Bye. I love Bye. you. Enjoy gardening. <laughs> Bye. 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 Awesome. All right. Bye. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, guys, thank you so much for thank being you. here. The the album El Cortez drops July twenty eighth. Yep. Friday. They're coming to a city near you. Thank On you the for... Ultrasonic Summer Tour. Yes. It's pretty cool, right? Yes. Great. Super Ultrasonic. I just like saying the name. So. <laughs> Thank you for it being here name. on You Now. Till next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you, guys.